Hi, it's Alex. I'm going to show you how to make a DIY wire dog crown. So you're going to need wire, needle nose pliers, electrical tape, and wire cutters. This is what I've already made for my dog. And what you're first going to do is... Ah, don't fall, Tika. You're going to estimate how long you need your wire and you're going to curl it to go around their ears. And if it's too long, you can just cut it. If it's too short, uh, I don't know what you're going to do. Just use some other wire. <laughs> and you don't want to poking them, so you're going to have to take the very end and take the needle nose pliers and curl it. Hold on, this is going to... There we go. And then you just curl it back. Sometimes it's a pain to do, but you can do it. See, that's the approximate head thing. It's pretty bad, but yeah, I tried. And then for decorations like this one, I just took piece of wire about maybe this long. You could measure the wire on your dog, but I'm uh, too lazy to do that. And take this wire, clamp it with the needle nose pliers, however big you want the thing. Like if you want it that big around, can do that. Um, I'm gonna try and curl it, you know, like you do here. But I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I would, this is my second crown, so there's a curl like that. Which, if your dog's hair is short, it should be easy for you to have something so small as this but my dog's hair is quite long and she needs it to be really tall and you won't really see the electrical tape on my dog but with your dog you might need to find some same color electrical tape and yeah so now you take the electrical tape and hold on a second I forgot my scissors Oh, hello, Tito. And you take a small piece. You don't want a really big piece. Because then you do that. Like, that big old piece right there. But anyways. It's a pain sometimes. About, you want a piece about an inch maybe, or shorter. Just not too short. And you always want to leave a little piece about about this long about an inch maybe so you can put it on there perfectly and I like to bend it a little bit so it moves with the crown the headband part and sometimes it's a pain to put on I'm saying that a lot but it's true it is. It really is. And if your dog has a bigger head, needs more wire and more decoration. Which honestly, I used to have a big dog, but he's gone now. But I have Tika now, and I can make this taller if I wanted to with the needle nose pliers, because it's kind of flat right there. There we go. So you could make a costume for her, like one of the Teletubbies or something, uh, kind of, kind of like that, sort of. So like with this one, I just stuck the wire, cut the wi um, needle nose pliers in it, and I just twisted it. 
And yeah. So one crown and another which I'm going to call the Teletubby ah. Teletubby crown. So yeah. And the way you put it on. Come here, Tika. You have it this way. Hold up a second. There we go. I'm not used to this. Have it like that with the curls going back. And what you really do is hook it around their ears. Like my dog, she likes to shake her head a lot. And if it's like one of those, like, you know, when you go to PetSmart and you're training your dog and stuff and they have that graduation thingy and it's like a headband. Well, this one won't fall off as easy as easy. Look, it just looks like a screw coming out of her head. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Like, like hello. Wait for the camera. Hi. Okay. Well, please subscribe. And I know this video is probably not the best quality. But subscribe if you want to know how to make this adorable little dog dress that I have made yesterday. It only took me about a couple hours if you're a good sewer. But I mean, the pattern, I tried to use the uh, one of the other do dog dresses she had, but I just didn't bother with that because it was really hard. <laughs> So subscribe if you want to know how to make that dog dress, which is basically a ballerina dress. So, yeah.